are you all right? Yeah, yeah. So I was just going to do our introductions and saying, if you're new here, thank you for coming. I'm Ruby and my business is Totty Delightful. I'm an artist and zine maker. And I really like to inspire people to connect to nature and themselves. And this is... Thank you, Ruby, my business bestie. Um, I'm Kula Shine. I'm an artist and spiritual intuitive. And I like, yeah, pe to help people to see the light within themselves and without themselves too. And uh, yeah, just to just to um, shine, basically. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why it. you're Kula Shine. Right. Yeah. Name and nature, hopefully. That's yeah. yeah. I love it. So we've just been having a little quick conversation a little catch up yes um, and then we were like let's press record because all this stuff is good stuff for everybody to um, well it might be it might be yeah it might be rubbish stuff <laughs> <laughs> it might just be us <laughs> no one else in the world thinks like this yeah <laughs> just lost too much in my little <laughs> <laughs> yeah but basically what we've been saying is what we've come to the realization is you're going to probably say this much better than me, Koo. No, no, go on, you're that doing it. Actually, we've kind of set ourselves up for a fall because even though for the past four weeks, this is week five, and I want to give us a big <laughs> shout out. <laughs> for actually doing five weeks in a row. That's like amazing. Um, yeah. We've come to the realisation that actually it's a lot. It is a lot, isn't it? Yeah. And as much as we love doing it and look for engaging with everybody out there and and with each other and stuff, it's almost like we've we're forcing ourselves to go right. We have to stick to this routine. We have to do it at this time. We have to do, and that is not us, is it at all? No. Well, we've we've what we recognised was that as the the in the last two weeks, well, this week it was really tricky to kind of pin down a time, wasn't it? So um, because of the nature of how you have to do videos, so we record it and then you know, we have to spend some time editing it, obviously. And then, I mean, not a lot, but putting a back end on it and things like that and just, just sharing the file between ourselves, et cetera. Um, putting the information you need to put on YouTube and then loading everything up, all that. But then there's also the social media promotion. <laughs> oh, it's gone. It's falling apart. <laughs> um, so there's, there's all that kind of work into it. And and because we were liking chatting with people in the premiere. So so it was a, a lot of work. It wasn't just a press record, it's done, whatever. Um, and But the reason we started doing it was because we wanted, we noticed that sometimes when we were having conversations, because we talk most days via WhatsApp chat, don't we, Rubes? Um, yeah. We'd say some things and we're like, oh, it had come out of nowhere. You know how these wonderful nuggets do. And we were like, I bet you someone else would really value hearing that. That could really help someone else in their life. So we decided so maybe once a week we'll catch up on a, a Zoom call and share those nuggets. And then it turned into a whole capitalist, <laughs> this is how you do business thing. We fell into the trap completely. Yeah. Um, and we're not denying that. I think that's the really dog good. wants to go out, Koo. The dog. Oh. Do you want to go out? <laughs> Thanks, Rubes. All right. I hope I haven't left my bedroom door open because he'll be on that, my ah. bed. <laughs> um, uh, where was it going? Capitalist. We've fallen into that trap of it being like business. This is what you do. Yeah, and and both of our channels have grown in the last since we've been doing it. We found that's really helpful. We found a bit more about YouTube, about titles and thumbnails and things like that, which is also we think helped. Um, so there's no doubt that as a business model, this could grow our YouTube and we could reach more people and help more people. But and we were recognizing that particularly in the last two weeks, it's a real we've had to really push ourselves to do it, to commit to it to fit it in with everything else. And um, and then today, when we went to film, because we would have done, filmed it the day before so that it wasn't everything all on one day, the filming and all the editing and posting on, and the in, interaction on one day, because that's a little bit too much for me. Um, but I had to stop up to dinner. 
I already yeah. had booked in from a couple of months ago that I did. Yeah, yeah. it day. just worked out. We couldn't. So it was, we, you know, we had to do it today, which felt like a lot. And then, and, um, and then we were like, hang on. We are both people that really don't like um, to commit to things. We've both run monthly clubs before and family. <laughs> really, we were so excited about both of them, weren't we, Robes? <laughs> and we I mean, both went, oh, my God, I've got to do that again this month. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we did do the whole year each, didn't we? Yeah, Which was we really did. Brilliant, but it's not in our nature. And pushing against our nature um, is just more of the playing the capitalist game. And, and we didn't even... It didn't dawn on us, did it? We didn't click because that our motivation wasn't those things. It was to share nuggets of wisdom. Um, and it, then it turned into a, oh, this makes sense. This makes good business sense as well as sharing yeah. community. Um, so let's carry on for that rather than really tapping into what was serving us um, and supporting us in our day to day. So We've kind of decided, haven't we, that we're not going to do weeklies for now. And it's one of the reasons why we haven't set up our spaces today, because yeah. we said, no, let's just jump on and explain. Um, because there was a few um, people, regulars that came and chatted with us every Thursday or Saturday whenever we were doing it. And um, we had a really glorious time in the chat. It was really wonderful. I mean, it was so wonderful to make the connections. And we might do it again another yeah. time when we feel inspired, won't we, Ruby? We're, we're yeah. going to try, you know, we're not going to, like just abandon this because we think it's a really lovely thing and and we know that people appreciated witnessing our friendship but joining in the friendship yeah um, exactly. yeah so we're not it's not like we're not right that's it we're not going to do it again but we're certainly not going to pressure ourselves and play that game and we don't want anybody to think that we we did anything that we've already done under duress we didn't we really <laughs> <laughs> but this week we felt we were like hang on, what is this resistance? And we need to look at it and really pay attention because story time. <laughs> Are you all right for me to carry on? Oh, hang on, let me get cosy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we were just pondering because I was just saying, I've been up for a couple of hours. I've done my orders. It's only three little sticker sheets, you know, it wasn't a lot to do. And then I've come and done this. And I know that when this is finished, I'll be going back to bed because I'm really tired. And it's frustrating to me because I want to paint because I've been painting. I really love that. I love that. Thank you. Well, there's three of them. There's three in a in a set. Oh, my God. Cool. And look at the colours. The colours are amazing, aren't they? So I, I tend to paint in threes, as you know. So there's yeah. always three kind of – because that's how I like doing everything in threes. You know what I'm like. Anyway, <clears throat> Um. So it's frustrating to me because I wanted to get back to painting this afternoon, but I know I'm going to have to go and rest. And then I was considering, or we were talking about just before, weren't we? Just before we pressed record, because we were like, shall we just record this? Because we were right in a, a convo, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe the CFS has come about because over the last 10 years, my body had kept telling me to rest, but I kept beating the drum of, no, but I need to work. And it's not, I'm not at all a workaholic person. That's not where I am. I'm not, I wouldn't ever put work above other things as it, you know, but creating or running my little shop, that's my work. It's not like I, when I think of a workaholic, I think of somebody who works in an office nine to five and is, yeah, in a is so late and, and misses family occasions and those sorts of things. Yeah. I, I don't put my work above those things, but but there was still absolutely times, even last year, when my body was like, please stop. And I was pushing and pushing and pushing um, because of finances, really. Yeah. Even though I really needed to rest. And maybe I wouldn't have got to this point where I'm up for two hours and I have to go back to bed in a minute <laughs> if I'd have stopped sooner. Yeah. And I was just wondering if that's a common occurrence for other people because so many of us, sorry, I'm really on one, aren't I, Robes? This All is right, so carry on. So many of us, especially neurodiverse people who find the world really challenging and like the living, and this is going to sound really dramatic and like a bit of a drama queeny type thing, but that's internalized ableism speaking. Um, it's, it's traumatic to be alive if you're neurodiverse because there's so many sensory things hitting you all the time. Never mind the fact that every single conversation is so much work. Every interaction is really hard. And let's not even start with the food we eat nowadays, 
with all of the woo-woo electronics going through the air, smart meters, and even, you know, phone signals. 20 years ago, we didn't have all these phone signals going through the air. We didn't have digital TV. We didn't have computers in every home. We didn't have all this electronic stuff in the air. It's no wonder the body that I was born into that wasn't made for this is going, what the noggin? Yeah. What's happening? Down. It's the adjusting. Yeah. You know, it's, add all those things up. It's no wonder something like this happens where the body just goes, nah, mate, I'm out. Yeah, I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. We're, 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 um, yeah, we're, we're on strike. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, it is. It's totally, isn't it? And and there's loads of layers to that, isn't there? There's like the stuff in the water, all the oh. hormones in the water. Do you yeah. know, like it, it just everything, all the crap that comes out of the sky when it rains, like the whole <laughs> lot of it. And years ago, we none of this. There'd have been none of this. I remember. Oh, I'm going on and one. Are you ready? Story time. I'm going to be your story time. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being a, a child. And playing out in the garden because that's where I spent most of my time. And in summer, the that's sky where, that's was where blue. Spent... Sorry, yeah. Go on. I was just going to say that's where most of us who are like forty-five and under. That is where we spent our time. Yeah, outside. <clears> outside. <clears throat> <clears throat> the sky was always blue, beautiful blue all summer. Now, if you see a blue sky, I'm like, oh my god, a blue sky! It's amazing. But throughout the day you'll notice it all goes grey and white and crap for having a foot we're in England by the way if anybody's watching from a different country um so it's probably you know it could be different where you are but I remember whole summer holidays of just blue sky now that's one thing out of all the things that yeah. is it sounds it does sound dramatic it's attacking us but it is every day you know like coming onto us into us through us and yeah not not to mention things like you can hear the electric going you know like it's just simple things that really that other people would take for granted that did or not even aware of it i don't even think of it no to me we've got <clears throat> dripping tap in the kitchen at the minute oh my god it's been driving me mental. i don't know how you're doing it it is driving, Tom's tried to fix it a couple of times, but we think it's somewhere in the mechanism. It's not just a washer, it's right. inside. I think he's going to do it this weekend because it is it is driving me do lally. The noise of that yeah. and the noise of the fridge in there. The fridge! Don't even start with a fridge. Oh, <laughs> God. Or when you're cooking, do you have a fan above your cooker? To we Casey won't have it on because of the noise. She can't tolerate it. Right. It's like an aeroplane. Yes. Oh, my good Lord. So it's stupid things like that that's constantly <laughs> driving your body. Don't even start with needle hair. I know. I just You just said, didn't you? Needle oh, hair. It looks nice. I said, oh, yeah. But it's really irritating my neck. Mm. <laughs> I keep having to do that with it. Um. They're, these are like, there's hundreds of them in the queue. If we sat here going on about them, there's hundreds of them. So forget all of that on top of everything else. And then, yeah, your body's like, get get to bed, lady. Do you know what I mean? It's <laughs> no wonder, isn't it? No. And isn't it fascinating, thinking about another level of that, it's even something that they can't medically give you a tablet for or cure it right now because... If they could, I'd take it or do it and carry on. Yeah. It's fascinating, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, really fascinating. So yeah, it's crackers. So to add the pressure, because this is what it feels felt like today a little bit, didn't yeah. it? To yeah. add the pressure on fitting it in. Oh, we've got to fit it in with everything. The week coming around so quick. Super fast. Really yeah. fast. Because we do it, don't we? And then it's like, oh, we've got another week now. But before you know it, it's like back again. Mm. Um, yeah, so I think what's happened is, and and this happens a lot, especially to me, because I'm always saying, oh, I'm going to do this thing. Um, our intention was just to have a chat with other people, to get them involved in what we're talking about, to give our wisdoms and stuff like that. And then somehow, without us knowing, it shifted into... This is business. We must do this thing. And it's like, hang on. 
no. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No, we're going to we're going to let ourselves off that hook. We're going to be kinder to ourselves and um yeah, I mean, and hopefully we'll do this. We'll just, when we fancy it, and we, the, what, the only concern I have a little bit is it did take us a year to start because we <laughs> to do it and we fancy it and it never happened. And the fact that then we said, no, we are going to do it every week, um, then that, you know, it made us do it. But, yeah. you know, that again, that doesn't work with who we are as as people. But, yeah, so, so I'm a little bit concerned that we won't get around to it so much, but... Um, because I do think we've got valuable things to say. And I yeah. think it's really nice for people to see pe people with really different ideas still finding common ground and celebrating life. Do you know that kind yeah, of thing? Definitely. I am I can almost think, though, because we're letting ourselves off the hook of this is going to have to be at this time every week, we yeah. might then, because we've been released from that, go, yeah. come on, let's do a video today. We've got yeah. some stuff to say. Yeah. You know, so it could it could be that. But I think this is a really important lesson for people watching. Um, mm. This is our boundary setting. We're setting boundaries, aren't mm. we, for self-care. Yeah. And Because uh, I often say to you, don't I, Kate? Oh, my God, I feel so overwhelmed. I've got so much to do. I'm so mm. overwhelmed. And... Uh, and you're you've got your CFS, you know, that's forcing you to rest. It's yeah. not that you'd go, oh, actually, I'm choosing to go back to bed now. No, you'd be choosing to paint, wouldn't you, today? You well, know, yeah. I mean, I mean, that would be a joy. I'd probably I'd prioritize admin, which would be ridiculous. Like I did yesterday. Yeah. I, I yesterday I was so excited because I, I I'd left the day empty because I thought we were recording because it just got a little bit mixed up in it. And then, so then I was like, oh, I can have an art day. This is amazing. And then I was like, no, you should really list those earrings, you know, because I made the, those gorgeous yeah. earrings. I haven't even listed them yet. <laughs> I'm just going to give people a little heads up about Zoom teams. And not Zoom teams, Canva teams. Shall I quickly rips? Oh, my God, yeah, do. Because, <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, so I had, um, I had Canva and then I was doing some work for a local art group here, um, do, just doing their social media as a, like a favour. And so I had them in Canva Teams and I hadn't realised I was signed into my Canva team. I thought it was just my personal account and the Canva Teams was an add-on. I've stopped doing that now because I've had to let go of all extracurricular, blah, 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 blah. And, and so this week I deleted the team. I hadn't realised that I was actually logged into my team and I've made all of my everythings for the last year, the whole year's worth of Canva projects. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Can I read I was like, what? <laughs> so you just got to be careful. If you have Canva Teams, make sure you're logged into your personal one when you're making your own personal things. Otherwise, you won't get any of the stuff. I've, I have managed to sort it. It's okay. But there was. Well, have little... you? Have you got it yeah, back? Yeah, um, you, yeah. Because it gives you a two week window. Apparently, if you like, you contact them and then they say, restore it, and then I can. And I've managed just to oh save a couple God. of dozen you know of my files just because you know to start all over from scratch is quite yeah. a, you know but but all of my uploads and everything hundreds of them they're all gone and you know it's just one of the things but anyway where, why did I get onto that Rubes? Uh oh yesterday you'd have chose to have a paint day but you ended up doing admin because yeah and I, I was like yeah so I was sorting that out sorting the Canva things out and I was also um I did list one pair of earrings that's all I got done <laughs> and then I was too tired to actually paint which was really frustrating to me um and we do have this issue don't we Ruby we often say right we're going to be a paint we, we want to be painters or we want to be artists yeah. and then that seems to be the last thing on the list that we allow ourselves to do allow allow, allow. I know and that's it it's almost like because for me, painting is like, and I'm sure this is for you, it's like birthing something, like it's a physical need inside of going, I need to paint. It's not just a mental thing, it's a physical. Yeah. Um, and it's like I do everything else so I could clean the bathroom before I allow myself the reward of painting because I deserve that feeling that I get from painting, which is amazing. Yeah. I only deserve that if I've done all the other stuff. It's a reward oh, oh, oh. because yeah, yeah, because capitalism has taught us 
that we have to earn joy. Yeah. But actually, joy is our birthright. We are joy, yeah. you know, and, and yeah. we are creators. We've come here to create. And that uh, that reminded me of something else as well that I've really been keenly aware of this week um, because oh, this is going to be completely TMI. So if you're a little bit, ooh, don't don't turn the volume off right now. I'll tell you. <laughs> but I had toothache last week, didn't I? And, you know, I was poorly. And then I had cystitis. It was really bad. I've never had it so bad. So I was really feeling flipping rubbish and really low and fed up and everything and whatever. And even in the midst of that, I was like, I'm here for this because I really, I mean, it's such an interesting thing because part of me just went, liar. <laughs> no, you weren't. You were like, you know, all, all the Fs under the sun. But it was like, we've come here to experience all of it. If we only came to experience the joy, we'd stayed where we were. There was no purpose to come in. Uh, you know, it depends on your spiritual beliefs, but there's no purpose in embodying and manifesting. Here, in a world of duality, if we didn't want to experience duality, there's no point to that. So we've come to experience all of the things. So um, there's, you know, there's no need for everything's allowed do you know that there's no right or wrong there's no better or worse and there's no um there's no need to kind of try and make something that seems bad feel better you know that kind of toxic positivity yeah. that's rife in the spiritual community it's so bad um because we need to feel all the feelings we need to feel all of the things in order for us to grow spiritually etc definitely um, yeah, yeah, but it, that ties in. I can't remember what the link is now because I, I went right into the inner story about pain and all of those things, you know, and I was like, aware of my tooth because even though I had antibiotics, it's it's not cleared up. But anyway. Was uh, it that you were still going to try and show up and do your business even though you had toothache and cystitis? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where it was, was... Sorry, go on. No, you're right, go on. I was just going to say, where if you'd have been going to work outside for the man and you was that poorly with your tooth because you were really bad with it, weren't you? You'd have taken the day off and gone home and rested. But because you're self-employed and work from home and stuff, it's like I have to push through this. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Do you know what else is crazy, Koo? Last night I went for a wee and I was like, oh, my God, I'm getting cystitis. <laughs> yeah. yeah i was like i am not having this i'm tapping into cooler cystitis i do not have cystitis i went in the shower and as you know you can't wash the cystitis away but i was in the shower and i was shut this is too much information showering <laughs> and i was going the showers washing the cystitis away i don't have cystitis when i wake up in the morning i won't have it and i woke up today nothing yeah because it was yeah. like uh, it was like I was tuning into your. Oh, we do it all the time. Yeah, Me we do. You, I do it with M as well. You know, M's my child, and um, or I don't think we're doing. Uh, we're not going to do the premiere on this one, are we? No, no. So, but um, was Forrest in the in the chat last time or whatever? Um, but actually had a test at the doctor's and there was stuff showing up. In, in the pea sample, oh, and, and, but it's clear, but it was literally on the back of tuning in. Yeah. And this is the thing when we're empaths, we do tune in to things. And we, again, it's about boundary setting, isn't it? About making sure that you're, you know, a, a, a great friend of mine. And I have mentioned Grace before because she's given me some top tips in my life, but she was also, I, I messaged her one day and I said, I really can feel death. I can really feel death. And and I, I was worried because it was such a strong feeling. And she said, is it yours? Mm. Is it yours? And I hadn't even hadn't even crossed my mind to ask that. And that's like a boundary question, isn't it? I hadn't even thought of it. Anyway, within moments of, of her saying that to me and me going, oh, actually, no, I don't think it is. Ambulance pulls up, the house opposite, the man gets taken away. He's died. Yeah. Just like that. But I was really aware of it, obviously. But that clarity around boundaries, about what is our feeling, what we're taking on, all of those things we can do with getting better and better and better at that. And I think we will. And yeah. of course, 
the higher we, the more we, we progress spiritually, it's almost like we expand. I'm making this up, but this is how it feels in this moment. We expand as beings. And when we're expanding, we're touching more edges. And sometimes those edges aren't ours. Yeah. Just, but we're not. Yeah. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? So Definitely. Mm -hmm. That happened to me with a next door neighbour. Oh, yeah. Not, not here. This was uh, years ago. And I said to Tom, oh, I can smell flowers, really strong flowers. This is funeral flowers I can smell. Uh, someone's dying. And he was like, who's dying? I was like, I don't I don't know who it is, but it's somebody close. And I thought it was somebody in our family. And it yes. turned out that that evening when I was feeling all these feelings, uh, we found out that the man next door had died. Same um, sort of thing then. Same, same, yeah, totally. And it is, I think our energy, I think if we could see our energy and our essence, mm. we'd see how... It, in my head, it's like smoke. It feels like sm not smoke, like from a pipe, like like a magical glittery smoke kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And we can, if we go near somebody, ours mingles with theirs. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. that's why when you meet somebody, and you automatically get that feeling in your tummy, this is not a very nice person. Do you know what I mean? Or this like, is a wonderful person. Or this is a wonderful person, yeah. yeah. It's like your energy has felt that into that person and you felt their energy and then you, yeah. like, pull back or, or allow or, you know. Oh, absolutely. Really interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I think most people, if they really listen, they could tune into auras easily. Yeah. Yeah, auric fields, absolutely. You've only got to be standing next to somebody in a supermarket queue. And if you really listened, you, you'd know. Even the people that say, oh, I can't do anything like that. I'm not, I don't feel those things. I, I think most people would. But, but do. we don't want people to go running around opening themselves up in supermarket queues. No. Just <laughs> check it out. <laughs> you have to set a boundary. <laughs> and, and back to the beginning, as in we, we're recognising that there's an unseen energetic field. And I'm think I was thinking about, you know, look, when you use your bibba to unlock your car and you can do it from, I don't know, 20 feet away. That signal is traveling through your field. Yeah. Right. If that can do a car from 20 meters, if the Internet, which is downstairs in my other, you know, blah, 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 can reach my computer here, that's traveling through my body. And then we're wondering why we're all getting all this, you know. It's, and, and and I think that, you know, I'm of the belief that everything is is happening exactly as it should. Everything's unfolding as it should. There's a greater plan that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. and, and I trust that all is well all the time, even, even d despite what it looks like, all is well, all is unfolding as it should or whatever. Um, there's a bigger picture. There's a bigger plan that we just can't even tap into. Um so, so there's no need to get kind of headless chicken and, and worried about it and set your boundaries. Yeah, definitely set your boundaries. It's balance, isn't it? Massive, yeah. I read, um, so I started rereading this today by Lisa Lister. It's what I yeah. sent you the picture out of last night. Of what yeah. Um, and today I've, I've been writing down uh, some of the things that spoke to me. And I just want to read this out because it's really interesting when we was talking before about allowing ourselves to paint, you know, yeah. rather than choosing yeah. it. So she's put, another move in the patriarchal playbook, make women think that self-interest and self-care are indulgent, selfish, and even narcissistic, mm -hmm. so that we continue to give, never taking time to rest, recalibrate, and fully receive, so that we ultimately break down or burn out and find ourselves hating our bodies. And I was like... Yeah, so true. Isn't it's completely it? true. This is what how we've been trained yeah. between capitalism and patriarchy. And look at us; we're the blessed ones, as in we don't know what it's like to be at the hands of racism. You imagine people that have to deal with that on top. Yeah, you know, um, we're blooming lucky we haven't had no, to have are. that experience too. Yeah, um, because how do you, you know? Anyway. <laughs> We could really go. That's another really story. Go. I know, I know, and we didn't want to make this too long, but we maybe we could talk about it next time. But yeah, absolutely. And well, as an example of that, yesterday 
my sister-in-law, who I don't see very often, and Tracy's sister and her family were in our town, you know, they and um and I would normally go and see them, but I know because I woke up feeling like I had a little pocket of energy yesterday, which is that I ended up using on admin instead of using on painting, but I had this little pocket of energy and I would normally have gone and used it seeing them because I know she would really like that. My sister-in-law would really like that. And it sounds really big headed. I don't mean to be, but she just, she just does, you know, she always really appreciates it because I don't see her that often. And, and thankfully TJ talked with me for a bit and she, you know, and, and I got to the point where I was like, for the first time, probably, actually, I'm going to prioritise my, not the first time, but I can count on one hand the amount of times I've done it in my life, you know, my own well-being. Mm. I'm prioritising that and using that little pocket of energy I do have for myself. Um, and that's not to say I'm not a selfish person, all those sorts of things, or I'm really like, you know, saintly. That's not what I'm saying. But just as a woman, like you just read out from that book, is I've been trained not to do that. Yeah. I've been trained that it's selfish to to put my needs first, you know. And, and it is a little bit frightening because there are some people I've seen, women I've seen out there doing that who are narcissistic and I don't like them very much. <laughs> so I don't certainly don't want to go down that path. But there's a balance, isn't there, you know, yeah. that we need to find. Absolutely. And, yeah, and I, I think that it's, that's, oh, what's the word? That's not self-love and self-care, is it? It's like and so do you know what I mean it's not that it's the the other part of it I can't think of the word of it like it's too far at the detriment to everyone and everything they're number one and that's what's most important to the detriment of everything else yes but but ordinarily and and also this could to be controversial but I do feel people that are like that actually are really lacking in lots of ways probably they don't actually really love themselves and it's a wall that they've built up absolutely it's a survival tactic yeah yeah they have learned to survive that way but what's really crushing is that the world the way it's made up because of capitalism patriarchy is that it rewards narcissistic behavior so all the people in power the government people, the the even like pop stars or or you know um, movie stars, you know, but some not all of them. I'm that, not tying them all with the same brush, but the people that tend to make it in those industries are uh, not just the industries; those businesses are, are narcissists or have a, the, an ego that is flavored with a narcissist bent. You know, but because that's what it rewards. It yeah. rewards that kind of behavior. Yeah, definitely. Leonie Dawson always says, and I think this is amazing, she always says, have the confidence of an old white businessman. Because an old white businessman thinks he is the centre of his world. Do you know what I mean? The world. uh, The world. And it wouldn't even enter his head about any of this stuff that we think about as women. Not at all. It's crackers. Yeah, that is really crackers. It's yeah, it's bizarre. Really, can I show you my painting anyway? Let's have a look at the painting. Let me just make sure I don't roll over the dog. Do do do. Ooh, it's oh, so um, vibrant. Can, can you? Yeah. Oh, sorry for the wonky camera. Right, I'm gone. <laughs> How do I make it straight? Oh my god, my camera skills coo. <laughs> it's, cold. it's cold yeah you can yeah. see it the robes it's, yeah. lovely. I don't, it's looking from on my um, screen it's not looking as pink it's got a bit more of a an orangey hue to it but it's actually oh. bright pink isn't it yeah so I think if I put the it's a different light because it's it's a dull day today it's rainy today Ooh. yeah if I put my daylight light on it Oh, it doesn't really work, does it? It's coming out really beautiful. Is Are you pleased? Yeah, really pleased. But that is yeah. like really bright pink. Yeah. Um, There's that gorgeous pink you showed us a couple of weeks ago, isn't it? Yeah, that like fluorescent pink. So do the flowers like mean anything? Do they have any significance or the shapes or things? Or is it just, you know, that you're just going with the flow and it's not? Well, so originally I, I'd done the background and these flowers originally and then I've been um 
drinking that mushroom um rainbow dust it's called <laughs> these mushrooms um to help my brain and stuff like that anyway so while i was drinking it i was thinking whenever i drink anything oh god get cozy cooler get cozy this is time. meant to be a quick one what are we like <laughs> story time story time so um so whenever i have something like that that's from nature i always think it deserves the respect of not just chugging it basically mm. so I was like right I'm going to make this an occasion so I sat down I, I had my cup I was like this with it and I was like smelling it and I was like tasting it I was thinking mm. um well, we're then, supposed to do that with all food and drink yeah we are aren't we that's why we say I, grace exactly yeah mm. and I'd put on a mushroom meditation on YouTube now the the idea was that in the morning normally I listen to a prayer and I listen to a meditation before I start my day but because of drinking the mushrooms I couldn't get into meditation at all like it was like my head was too open to like it was like come on do this use this energy and I was sat there going you need to meditate <laughs> anyway so I listened to this mushroom meditation and in it, she takes you on a journey to the mushrooms. And I was imagining, as I'm drinking the mushrooms, that, you know, under the ground, there's all the mycelium network. Yeah. And I was imagining that was in my body and it was healing all my cells in my body and it was in my Ooh. brain and it was healing all my bonkersness in my brain. Not all of it, some of it, my bonkersness in my brain. And it was like a proper healing. And then I had this vision of tree woman. And I was like, right, I'm not do I didn't do anything. I didn't do orders. I didn't do anything else. I was just like, I need to paint. Normally I override that feeling of going, Oh, but you should be doing da da da. I was like, No, F that. I'm painting. Yeah. So I put some music on and I just started painting it. So I'm gonna change some of these flowers. And under here, I'm going to make more of a network coming out. And then that's all yeah. going to have mushrooms in it and stuff. Yeah. And there's a crystal here which links to the, in my head, it links to like the the heart of the earth. Like there's yeah. a crystal in the middle of the earth that's pulsing yeah. out love. So that's what that is. And I'm going to make her blend more into the tree. So she's more right. part of the tree. Yes. Um, or the tree is more part of her, etc. Yeah, so we're like all into so it's all interconnected. Um, and then I'm going to change these somehow, and I don't know. And then the only thing that I am sure of at the end, I'm going to add some gold leaf. I do love a bit of gold leaf, yeah. Um, so it's really exciting because I have struggled, as you know, with this is for an exhibition in yeah. August, and the theme is Wise Woman, and I have really struggled to get going with it because in my head. I was thinking it had to be like portraits of wise women and I'm rubbish at portraits. Like I'm not good at them at all. So it blocked me. And you yeah. said, didn't you just do it in your own style, your own thing and, and stuff. So now I'm excited that I've got going. Yes, sense. I'm interested to hear and, and aware again of the time, but I'm also interested to hear how you overwrote, because at the beginning of the conversation, we said we don't allow ourselves to paint. And then to do that, because you had the mushrooms, whatever, and you had the buzz in, um, and we're not over condoning anybody taking any. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not, drink. they're not magic mushrooms. <laughs> no, no, they're just, it's just, it's a, it's a, just a drink. It's a medicine, um, medicinal uh, drink, drink full of m mushrooms. Yeah, not magic yeah, ones. Not magic ones. Um, but it enabled you to override the logical brain. Yeah. The create because we are creators, we've come here to create, but the creative it allowed that creative voice to be the loudest voice. I'm, I'm interested to know what that was, why that happened. So it it's it was it was like a compulsion. Yeah. So I've got so normally in in my head all the time there's a constant chatter of 
different levels of voices. So there's a constant chatter of things about myself personally. That can be nice, that can be horrible, depending on what it is. There's a constant chatter of what I've got to do in the day. There's a constant rem- remembering of I should all be doing things. that, all the things. There's a, there's, it's just constant. And there's a song always playing on repeat somewhere yeah. in there as well. Yeah. And then whenever I look at something, I get distracted. So that then comes into my brain. So what I found is when I have the mushrooms. Can I just say, and your GP has said no. You're not going oh, to yeah. the referral for ADHD. Yeah. GP refu- refused my referral. What? <laughs> anyway, carry on. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so when I've drunk the mushrooms, I've only been drinking them since uh, Friday. Uh, but when I've drunk them, it's like my head, it, it's not empty of that stuff. It's almost like whatever I'm focused on, so at that time it was the painting, the painting is the loudest thing and all that other stuff disappears. You know, like when you're in the zone and you are, you are painting and yeah. everything else disappears yeah. around you. Yeah. That's what it's like when I've drunk the mushrooms, and it's it enables amazing. you to get to uh, yeah yeah. So like if I'm if I'm doing computer work, I'm only doing computer work. It's like it's like a tunnel vision. All that stuff's still there on the periphery, but it's like I have tunnel vision of that's what I'm doing, and then I go right, and now it's time for me to do my orders, and then I move over. And I do my orders. It's a wit. I mean, I'm a bit blown away by it. I'm a bit like, what the, what is going on? We're going to get you um, on commission in a minute, Beau. So you keep going. <laughs> if anybody wants, I've got a ten pound off voucher. But what I have said is, normally um, by half two in the day, normally I need a nap on a normal day. I'm normally done by then for a couple of hours, and then I pick up again a bit later on. Mm. When I have the mushrooms, that doesn't happen. It just follows me all the way through till about half ten. I'm I'm like on it, but because my body's not used to this, it's aching like mad. Up because I'm moving about, I'm doing stuff. Mm. I walked from town the other day, which is it's all uphill. And when I was doing it, I'm thinking, what am I doing? I never do this. But by the time I got home, I was like, ah, oh, my legs hurt. So then. On Saturday, I didn't have any, and I just slept for six hours completely through the afternoon. So I think what I need is, today I've only had a little bit. I've only just had a bit. I was going to say, yeah, you're learning about the doses, aren't you? That was lucky. The postman came, but he didn't bark. Um, Yeah, I'm learning about the doses because the dose on the packet, that's like wired me for the whole day. And I think I need to be gentle. So today I've had just a quarter of the the thing where I'm still alert and I can still focus on stuff. But if I need to sleep in a bit, I'm going to have a sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Because because it sounds like it's treating your mind. This is what ADHD meds do, isn't it? But it treats your mind. But then you've still got a body. Yeah. That you're running. And that needs a different type of care potentially. So, yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah and so and it'll, the whole thing. The whole thing. And I think it will be interesting to see longer term, because it's only been well, it's less than a week. It'll mm. be interesting to see how it works out. But I am really pleased that I, I can get stuff actually done and finished mm. in the same time that I'm doing it, you know. Um, Tom's tried it, and he, he's not ADHD, and he said the the same it's like his brain wants to keep going but his body's really tired mm-hmm. um, the tired but wired thing yeah tired but wired yeah so uh so yeah it'd be interesting why did i start telling you oh about my painting yeah so that's why it was like i had tunnel vision but it was still a, cho- a choice it was still that you were able within your being to go this is more important than in my orders than my admin than my emails than my yeah. ai work whatever it's more important than all of those things how what made creativity is interesting that when your brain is working properly for example i know that i'm just yeah you chose painting yes 
That's interesting. It was like I was, it was a compulsion that I had to do, that I had to get it out of me, my vision. I had to go and do that right yeah. now yeah. Be, before any anything else. But it's almost like I have to, um, like I have to move. I have to, I have to channel that extra brain power into physically doing something. Yeah. Um. Because on Sunday I went to my friend's blessing way. Um. She's pregnant, right. and we went to. I went to her blessing way, and I drank the mushrooms on the train going. And I was on the train. I was like, I really want to dance, I want to dance. And then we got there, and the first hour was a dance, so I thought it was going to be all right. But because it was a blessing way, the lady that was doing it played all like really relaxing and everybody's like this <laughs> relaxing and in my head i'm like i wanted do 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 i wanted like rave music Bumble, <laughs> <laughs> so we was moving like this and i'm thinking i need to move <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna i'm not gonna if i'm doing anything like that I'm yeah not having a... <laughs> no, that make, doesn't make sense so so it's funny. So yeah, so I'm excited to get I'm gonna gift myself tomorrow to get back to my painting. I'm gonna do work 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 today. Um but you can feel it, can't you? Going, paint me, paint me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, love, with your paintings, the beautiful ones that you've just done? Are they finished now? I just got to do the edges, yeah. I think I'm going to do. I think round. I think round the edges. I'm just going to do like a dark grey. Um, TJ paints all of her edges the same as the painting. I do. The edges are paintings themselves, you know. But I'm just going to do mine just a flat dark grey. I've been looking up how to make frames myself. I mean, these are fine because they're deep edge. I don't think they need framing. But some of the narrower edged canvases, which are a lot cheaper, aren't they? Yeah. Um, do need framing and. And I'm looking up about art because I'm not very good at joints or angles. Very bad at that. So I don't know how that's going to turn up. Have you got a miter saw? I've had them over time, but I'm not. Uh, I won't be going down the miter saw route. Right, okay. I'm not going down the angle route. So they're going to be butt joints like that. Oh, okay. Oh, that yeah, means straight a butt, edgy. A butt joint. <laughs> <laughs> what <are> you like? <laughs> um, <laughs> Finish up on a butt joke. <laughs> uh, right then, yeah. Anyway. Let's, let's, so yeah, so we'll see you when we see you. When we see you. I know there's probably loads more we could talk about, but this is, I should think we've been an hour. We didn't mean to. We meant to be like 20 minutes, did we? Yeah. Just to explain why we've not shown up with all of our makings. Because... Because as well, we know people appreciated that. And we really did like sharing that. And that might be something we do in the future. Yeah. We, we might go, right, yeah, we're going to do this. Or, and we're absolutely open for, you know what I meant to do, Ruby, in between this, to say, ask people to leave comments about things or what do you think of that? Or what do you think of that? You know, it's because we've talked about quite a lot of things and I'd like to know what people think about what we've spoke about, but I forgot to ask as we were going through. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I, like last time we did about, you know, starting a small business, whatever. If you've got anything like that you want us to talk about, about anything that we've spoken about, isn't it? Um, so, so that we've got a focus to come on and talk about them. We're absolutely up for that. Or any of the things, isn't it, Rubes? Yeah, definitely. Um, we're really up for it. So Because we can delve a lot deeper, can't we, into stuff than what, yes. we, have, what we have. So yeah, yeah, yeah. about any, absolutely. anything. Um, yeah, so that's good, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so... We'll see you again. What's that song? Was Anon? it by Vera Lynn? We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know where. Well, it'll be on YouTube, so we do know where. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but and, and I did a jingle, but we... <laughs> you did it. We made a jingle. Um, we've got to find it. It's somewhere in our chat, but it was quite good, wasn't it, Rose? It was really good, yeah. yeah. But it's but we'll have to dig it out for next time. Yeah, we'll have to do it so we can get on the jingle. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, leave comments, leave chats. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>